right, we're going to try to finish up in Genesis uh, 50, uh, dealing with uh, family dynamics. And uh, I'm going to start in uh, Genesis 50, and I'm going to start in uh, verse 15. And most of us, we know the this situation with uh, Jacob and his sons, and we know how the sons uh, had some differences with one of their brothers, Joseph, because Joseph uh, seemed to have uh, the favor of his father and favor of the Most High. And he, Most High would share things with Joseph, and uh, Joseph got excited, and you know he uh, he would share things with his father, and his father would basically say, "Hey, you know that's nice," uh, and his father might infer, "Hey, but you know let's keep this let's keep this among us." But you know how uh, a lot of times when we hear from the Most High, we get an impression of the Most High, and we are certain beyond certain, be certain this came from God, and I'm gonna see it through. Sometimes we forget he didn't mean tomorrow. Sometimes he says things to us, and it's with this caveat. And again, I'm not saying this as if I was there when he made up this rule. I, I'm a part of creation just like you are. But oftentimes when he says things, even when we're being chastised, he says, if you continue to do this, this will happen. But if you change and do that, this will happen. And this, this will be good. When Jacob, whose character was changed and he became Israel, when he summoned his sons, he summoned them as Jacob. But when he talked to them, he talked to them as Israel. And each one of his sons, and he loved his boys, And in his loving them, he told them the truth about themselves. And see, you know, a lot of us, we love people, but do we love them only a certain kind of way? See, um, how can I say this? Uh, Sometimes, because you love a person, you have to say no. Even if that's not what they want to hear. Let me, let me get into 15 and we'll come back to that. And I made some notes. Um, Israel has gone on, and Pharaoh told Joseph, keep your promise that you made to your father. Go do as he asked you to do. And so coming back, it says, uh, in 14, it says, then after burying his father, Joseph returned to, Is to Egypt. He, his brothers, and all who had gone up with him to bury his father. Now here, here's something very key because see, you know, as has been stated before, yes, we're reading about Joseph's family dynamics, but every one of us sitting in here, we have our own family dynamics going on. And uh, so I want you to keep in mind, yes, we're reading about Joseph, but my hope is that throughout this series, you've been realizing that more has been going on than just hearing about Joseph's situation. My hope is that uh, during, during the course of the week, different things would come to you about 
your particular family situation. And when I say family dynamics, I'm not just talking about your, your primary family nucleus. I'm talking about your entire tribe. And I'm also saying this not uh, as one who, whose tribe has it all together, because my tribe is just like your tribe. There is unity. There is some hard feelings. But who has the love of the most high, that you're willing, you be willing to be the one to say, listen, can we repair this breach? And that, that takes a lot, particularly if you were the one that was negatively affected. See, this is where I've been going, time out. This is where he's been taking us all the time while we were reading about Joseph's situation. But all the time he was dealing with us about our situation. Don't raise your hand. Have any done any homework? Don't raise your hand. Just think about it. Nobody knows but you and him. That, 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 that's it. But, but, but give an ear, because now remember, the brothers, they told their father the truth that Joseph was alive. And I said, it wasn't written in the scriptures, but I guarantee you, they had a discussion. Israel had it. He said, wait a minute, all these years you had me thinking, what? You know, see, but... You know, I guess for the sake of time, they just go, hey, you know, he was so, so overjoyed. I'm sure he was overjoyed. But he also realized my, my sons, my seed, lied to me. But, you know, uh, Jacob's done a few tricks in his day, too, now. You know, uh, and his, his, well, I know somebody in particular going to get mad, but, and his mother kind of encouraged him, and, you know, I, I used to ask a lot of questions about that, and I think I used to irritate my dad, because it sounded like uh, some of the explanations he gave, I, you know, I, after a while you learn how to, if your father says something, just shut up. You know, but I always had a question about that thing, you know, um, because there's even a scripture, what, uh, uh, Jacob I love, Esau I hate. But let me, let me tell you something, folks, because we've taken that out of context, too. When he says hate, it's not the type of hate we, okay? He, he, because Esau had poor practice habits. Practice doing what? following instructions. See? But some of us have taken that and we've said, this just, see, if we're not careful, the thing that was done to us, we turn around and do it to others. Because some people will take that scripture and blot out a whole race of people. And we got to be careful with that kind of stuff. Um, there's this thing called the sovereignty of the Most High. You see, saints, even though we may consider ourselves scholars, notice how I said that, we may consider ourselves scholars. Be careful when you start taking scriptures and trying to validate them to say what you have in your mindset about a certain person or people. And, and, and we want to be careful saying, well, I know 
God will do this, that, that, and the other. And I'm like, we need to be careful about that. I, I always like to say, and I know it upset some people, I say, he's God, he does whatever he jolly well please. And he doesn't necessarily ask us, well, Brian, what do you think of that? But some of us live our lives as if he has to run stuff by us before he do it. And that, 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 that's kind of that's dangerous. Because he says, my glory I will share with no other. Now, I know we've been taught, you know, uh, you come boldly before this, and, and I'm, I'm exercising my faith, and I'm like, all right. I understand. I'm just saying be careful. Be careful. A lot of us like to get in arenas, and I'm going to be honest, folks, a lot of us, we are novices at best. And we're trying to delve into stuff, and, and listen. What I gleaned, notice I didn't say, thus saith the Lord. What I have gleaned from my limited study is that there are laws in every realm. So you can think you're going tiptoeing through some tulips. It may be dangerous. It may be dangerous. But getting back to family dynamics, said, yes, all of that is part of this. Because remember, the brothers had forgiven each other. And it was a wondrous thing. And, and, and the thing I like about it, when, the, when, uh, when he was, when was going to reveal himself to him, he said, basically, I'm paraphrasing, everybody that ain't family, get the you-know-what out of here. Because he, right. See, and what I'm trying to get across to all of us, yes, we're the family of the Most High. Yes, we're a church family. But folks, learn to respect boundaries. Listen to this. It says uh, in 15, realizing that their father was dead, Joseph's brother said, Joseph may hate us now and pay us back in full for all the suffering we caused him. So they sent a message to Joseph which said, <laughs> now they translated this, they said, your father gave this order before he died. But you know what? If I, if, if, if I was them, I would have said, our daddy said. I mean, really, that's how we would say. You, you know, because sometimes br brothers, uh, and, and sometimes it, it, that could be, uh, that could be, but if, if you got the same parent, sometimes you argue, you're like, what? We look at each other sometimes and we, we, we get puzzled by sometimes some, some choices that, and decisions that we make in life. And you say, didn't they grow up in the same household that, that I did? And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's perplexing. It's, 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 it's challenging. And, and, and even, in, even in, listen, and even in that, We sometimes irritate one another. And sometimes, even those of us that love the Lord with all of our heart, we irritate people. Particularly sometimes our siblings. We play little games. And of course, they play them back. And then again, see that, 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 that thing 
creeps in. See, because sometimes when we, what we dish out, we get back. We would say, well, for, you know, they just, they just not into the Lord like I'm into the Lord. Well, they did. They say you reap what you sow. You gave this out, so I gave it back to you. And I'm saying all this to say sometimes in families, situations arise, and, and sometimes, let me say this too, sometimes it might not get rectified. It might not. But those of us that are trying to follow instructions, it's incumbent upon us To be the one even, and, and, and I'm not saying this like it's easy. Even if we were the ones that were negatively affected, are we willing to be the ones that said, look, we had a terrible fight, and, uh, you know, bro, I said some things. Um, <laughs> well, I'm not the best apology type person because I say sometimes, I say, well, yeah, I, what I said, I meant. But I still love you. And if we can, if we can forgive each other, let's forgive each other for real, and, and try to move on. Now, sometimes maybe something happens, and the most peaceable thing is, OK, let's forgive each other. And you go this way, and I'm going that way. I'm going to check on you. You check on me. See, sometimes it, 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 it Just think for a minute. Remember when you first really got serious about doing the things of the Most High and you went to uh, a family reunion? And uh, the cousins that you used to run around with doing certain things, you don't do that no more. And now you kind of trying to explain or uh, not really wanting to explain. You probably really didn't even want to go. But I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, even having to go in those kind of situations, the most high is behind that. See, we, we get uncomfortable with that sort of thing. But I'm telling you, the uncomfortableness, he's kind of he's setting that up a little bit. He's, he's given us an opportunity to work out our family dynamics. And sometimes it's uncomfortable. I, I, I know in times past, I've, I've said even with us trying to build trust among ourselves, I said, you know, some of us need to have what I call an uncomfortable conversation. I don't know how many people have had that. I, I, I haven't had anybody say, well, you know, hey, uh, bro, I need to see you. <laughs> I'm willing, I'm willing, if you need to see me, I, I'll talk with you. Is that, is that too real for, for, for church folk? I'm just asking. And again, I'm not mad. Listen to this. It says, realizing that their father was dead, Joseph's brother said, Joseph may hate us now and pay us back in full for all the suffering we caused him. So they sent a message to Joseph which said, your father gave this order before he died. And then they said, say to Joseph, I beg you now, please forgive your brother's crime and wickedness in doing you harm. 
<laughs> so now we beg of you, forgive the crime of the servants of the God of your father. See, sometimes, and that's what we do as believers. We do somebody wrong, and we do them dirty, and the first thing, first thing, we really don't want to face them, and we sorry, but we ain't sorry that we did it. We sorry they found out about it. Oh, my God. Oh. Brother, I'm so, oh, my. I can't even look at you. You ought not to be able to. You know, see, and have you ever had one of them saints say, oh, I'm so sorry. And I say, I agree, you are sorry. <laughs> I, know I'm, I know I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> I beg you now, please forgive your brother's crime and wickedness in doing you harm. So now we beg of you, forgive the crime of the servants of the God of your father. Now, and it says, Joseph wept when they spoke to him. Now, remember now, this was the messengers reading the note that the brothers had compiled. And remember I told you when they were going back to tell their father that Joseph was alive, what did he tell his brothers? He said, don't argue among yourselves. See, he knew his brothers. And the reason he knew them was because he took part of the shenanigans too. See, this is what sometimes we believers do. We do a little sneaky stuff. We know sometimes we, we getting on folks. Why do we do that? When his father indicated to him, hey, son, that's, that's fantastic. Let's keep this between us. You know he couldn't wait to get in there and brag in front of his brothers, talking about the dreams. And see, yes, what he was saying was true. But was it really necessary to say that then? And again, I ain't throwing, listen, we reading about Joseph. Joseph ain't reading about Barry. In fact, my name ain't even in the Bible. So I'm not throwing shade. I'm just trying to show you family dynamics. Because we think all of them had a, a cape on with a C, super Christian. They, did, they were people. They did great things, they did some bad stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Joseph wept when they spoke to him, and his brothers too came and prostrated themselves before him and said, now I can imagine the brothers, y'all remember when you was in grade school and you used to, well, some of y'all too young, but if you liked a girl or something, remember that, you, do you like me? Put that box, yes, no. See, if you were smart, you would say, yes, yes. <laughs> the brothers, you know, they, they put that thing together, and then they had the messenger go in and, and say this to Joseph, and I can imagine they kind of looking around. Can you, can you get any indication? I, well, no, I, he's, well, oh my God, it looks like he's crying. Oh, he's going to kill us. See, people, see, saints, sometimes we do stuff and we, 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 we want to apologize, but sometimes we might get another brother or sister. Will you go and uh, be the go-between? Uh, that's like if I, I do something to John and... Uh, I, I know I need to go apologize to John, but I said, Donnie, will you come uh, with me? I got something I want to tell John. But I didn't tell Donnie what I did. See, so now let me, I'm, I'm trying to show you something. This is what saints do. 
by me bringing Donnie with me, and I know everybody goes, well, Barry, does the Bible say if you got art with your brother, get somebody else and go get them together. We're taking that out of context, too, but I'm, uh, that's for another day. By me bringing Donnie and not telling him why he's going, because he's like, well, okay, my brother asked me to go. Well, yeah, I'm going to go with him. Yeah, I, I ain't got no problem with John. Yeah, I'll go. I'm now putting John on the spot. Maybe John ain't ready to forgive me. Maybe John might want to punch me out. See? See, this is the kind of stuff believers do. I ain't talking about the world. I'm talking about the family. I mean, this thing is, is, is just packed with stuff, I'm going to tell you. Mm, mm, mm. It said, Joseph wept when they spoke to him, and his brothers too came and prostrated themselves before him. Remember the dream how he said, well, you know, my sheaf was standing up and y'all sheaf was, see, all of that came to pass. And see, you know, the thing about it sometimes, folks, When he first, when, when he kept repeating and telling them about the encounters that he had with the Most High, I'm surmising that he knew it was kind of gigging his brothers a little bit. See, a lot of times when we read stuff, we want to act like some of them people never broke a saucer. A lot of them broke a whole buffet table. And see, sometimes we do, because, yes, we're a child of the Most High, but we do little sneaky stuff, too, if we're being honest. His brothers got angry because the way in which he delivered it, it had a little something on it. God favors me more than you. That's the implication. And see, that kind of stuff happens in fellowships. And see, when we're not careful, we get offended if guy A get up, but if guy C get up, we all, we all about it. That's not your call. The most high is running the show here. And let me help everybody, myself included. Even when it's something that goes against the way you understand it or the doctrine you learned or came up in, God ain't nervous. He, he's, not, he's not nervous about it. But well, it's supposed to come this way. And this, this is too early. Oh, yeah. So now you're going to put the system over the one that created it all. I, I, I'm, I'm, we need help. His brothers prostrated themselves before him and said, here we are your slaves just like he told them when he first was told how things were going to go and remember now even in admonishment he often gives us he says now if you continue in this way this is going to happen but he, he gives us, hey, what did he say to Cain? Sin, life at the door. What did he say to all of us? I set before you life and death, blessings and curses. He said, choose life. 
But he also told you what? I'm God. I created good. I created evil. I kill. I make alive. I wound. I heal. I'm God. In other words, he does it all. See, he's still God when he says no, Barry. Or sometimes he might say, not now, Barry. That don't make him any less God. He's not always God because what else you want, son? What else you want, son? Who wouldn't? See, but that's, that's what the system teach us. The system teach us every time he say yes, you just that special. And sometimes because we just that special, he says no. Many of us have wanted things. We thought we had to have them in life, and it may have taken us out of here. That's why he didn't let it happen. And some of us got exactly what we thought we had to have, and I'm going to leave that alone. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Joseph wept when they spoke to him, and his brothers too came, prostrated themselves before him, and said, Here we are your slaves. But Joseph said to them, don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? <laughs> here, here again now. I'm getting ready to read this. But among, sometimes among family, we do forgive each other. But have you noticed we always seem to recount what happened? <laughs> We recount what happened, because I'm, I'm getting ready to read something to you. He did. He forgave him. And yeah, he loved him. And, and, and they, listen, all of us in here has got a brother that we might have gotten in fisticuffs with him. You still loved him. Now, at the time, you're trying to get the best of him, you know. But I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, and, I'm, and again, I'm not, I'm not saying uh, Joseph was a great man, but he was, a, he was a regular brother too. Give an ear. Don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? You meant to do me harm, but God meant it for good. <laughs> but see, again, now, this is just my interpretation. When he said you meant it for harm, but God meant it for good, to me, that's still another, God like me more, God like me more. I know y'all said, Barry, you a petty something. <laughs> but that's kind of, that's, that's the ring that I got from that. Now, maybe I'm overplaying my hand because I was the troublemaker in my family. Unfortunately, I fought with all my brothers, but I was sharing with uh, James the other day. I said, I really can't recall my other brothers fighting with each other, but I recall I fought every one of them. <laughs> I, I, I'm, and I'm being honest. I'm, I'm being honest with you. I, I really can't recall. Now, they had arguments, but I'm talking about a fist fight. That was me. And I'm the smallest one out of all of them. Napoleon complex. <laughs> Am I in the place of God? You meant to do me harm, but God meant it for good, so that it would come about as it is today. In other words, t 
to me now. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. He said, y'all remember when I told you about them sheaves? Now, he wasn't saying it like that. That's more me. Less him. But he, he, he reminded them. And I mean, you know, and, and what, am I, what am I trying to convey? What I'm trying to convey is, yes, sometimes the Most High tell you some stuff. But learn to keep some stuff to yourself. Because let me ask you a question. Why is the reason why you think you, you, you just, I can't keep it to myself? I got to tell somebody. What are you in search of by telling them that? Is, it, is that some kind of self-promotion? Are you, you promoting your brand? You got to believe like I believe. And then you'll hear from the most high. Mm. 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 So that it would come about as it is today with many people's lives being saved. And here's another thing that I really want. See, again, a lot of times when something, when a blessing comes to your life, it's not just for you. And when it's, a, when it's truly a move of the most high, other people benefit as well. That's why it came to you. And see, what you don't want to be, saints, you don't want to be a bottleneck. Let that, let, that, let that stream, let that thing flow. Donnie always talk about the water hose. The, the hose got to get the water first. So, you know, when, when, when good stuff come, hey, okay. That's good. That's great. That's great. Because somebody might say, hey, how'd you do it? Where the God I serve. I'm like, oh, Lord. Well, y'all leave that Aunt Esther type stuff alone. Tambourine. That little peel box hat. Listen, of course, we all know the Most High is behind the blessing. But he's also behind the correction. He's also behind whether we live, and he's also behind when we die. Not just because we get stuff. Hmm. So it would come about as it is today with many people's lives being saved. So don't be afraid. In other words, because he was able to interpret that thing and Pharaoh said, hey, look, man, I'm going to let you, you run this thing. Hey, y'all, do whatever he say. Seven years famine, seven years plenty of stimulus checks of that day. And then he says, this is beautiful. He says, I will provide for you and your little ones. He, that's right there. He's saying, listen, we family. Yeah, you done me dirty. You know. And for all we know, he might say, yeah, you know, I got in a few jabs myself. He might have, you, you never know. Because sometimes when uh, people really apologizing to uh, one another, even sometimes the one that, that did get the negative effect, sometimes something in you say, well, you know, I didn't have the best attitude anyway. See, there's, a, there's an insurance term that is, is key. It should have been in the Bible. It's a term called contributory negligence. That means all of us play some part in this thing. And I can remember years ago I said, uh, uh, a lot of times we as saints, sometimes we'll say, well, 
Well, yeah, I was there when the thing broke out, but I didn't say anything. I just watched. And I said, the Most High, he get the perpetrator, he get the victim, and he get the this, this standbys too. See, because a lot of us want to say, well, I, I, yeah, I was there. Everybody, he gets everybody. I, I, I used to kid, I used to say, listen, he ain't really, he ain't really all our friend. I said, because he going he gonna to get, everybody going to get something. And sometimes we, 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 we think we so, so tight with him. You know, sometimes we've even said in anger, God, get him. That's crazy. Think about what you're saying. If God get them because you said get them, did that make you God? And a lot of times we don't realize what we're saying. And we, you know where we get that from? We get that from, I'm going to be kind, we get that from leaders saying, Almighty God, I'll strike you down, which he might, but let's hope he won't. If we continue to not follow the instructions or our execution is poor and we don't want to change because our heart is jaded like Cain's was, so I ain't doing all that. You know, now we got people. I don't want to be a boy. I want to be this. I don't want to be a girl. I want to be this. You know, I... I mean, all kind of crazy, 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 crazy. Because we don't want to follow instruction. And you know, the sickest thing is a lot of confused people are putting their crazy choice on the Most High as if he sanctions this crap. And see, they're speaking, and that's another thing. I hate, I'm going to give my truth. It's a lie. You're weird. Mm. Listen. Listen to this. People often don't want the truth. What they want is their version of truth validated. Especially in this society. In this society, people want their truth validated. While we may claim to seek honesty, what we are really after is confirmation of what we already believe. You know, in, in, in every situation, there's the way you see it, the way the other person sees it, and only the most high know exactly what went on. You know, for a lot of people, their perception is their reality. Mm. He says, so don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your little ones in this way he comforted them, speaking kindly to them. So they, they really had a moment. They had a group hug and everything. And then he's like, hey, look, man, I, look, didn't I, didn't I take, hey, since you came here, haven't we all been living large? Yeah, man, all right, well, we're going to continue that. We're going to be wise. We're going to be smart. And see, saints, what I've been trying to uh, uh, what I've been trying to encourage you to do, you know, I, I know, I know, you know, I know you get tired of hearing me talk about layoffs and some more layoffs coming, uh, uh, who is that, U UPS? Uh, 
and a couple of other, but, but uh, tense times are coming. But, but remember now, I did say, listen, uh, uh, Mary just said, Tab moved into a new place. Now, I don't know why she won't buy a house around the street from her mother, but that's their business. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's their business. And <laughs> but that's, that's beautiful. And, 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 and what I'm saying is, yeah, uh, watch, your, watch your wallet. And I, I told you I won't gonna bring it up no more, and I'm not going to bring it up no more about those budget books that I gave y'all earlier in the year. I'm not going to bring that up no more, though. I'm not going to bring that up again. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm, 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 I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm only, you know, listen, I'm being silly, but I, I'm, I'm serious, too. Folks, he not only wants us to be in position to help our family, and again, I'm not just talking about me, my four, and no more. I'm talking about your whole tribe. But then, be in a position, and again, this has to be done strategically with wisdom. Don't just, please don't. Don't come running with your wallet and your checkbook. Or sit back, survey the situation, listen to what they're saying. Because see, when times get tight, first thing people go, they're gonna be looking for believers. And then they're gonna brush up on all the love three scriptures they know. And they're gonna come to you, Dad, can I have a word with you, Brother Mike? You know, I was just impressed of the Lord. I've been under this thing, and I just, can I have a word with you? Folks, it's coming. And I'm not, and again, I'm not saying this for you not to help people. We, 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 we should be able to help. But it's not all the time does it have to be necessarily financial. Sometimes you can impart wisdom to them. See, and sometimes, listen, sometimes we do need to ask some questions rather than just let them give you their version, let them give you their truth. Because when they present it to you, it's almost going to be in a way to, well, if you love God, you'll help me. And see, a lot of us, when they come at us like that, oh, my God, now you're putting my love for the most high on I got to go in here. I ain't got but 50 cents in my pocket, but go ahead and take both of that. No, if you ain't got but 50 cents in your pocket, keep that and call Francis. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I will provide for you and your little ones. In this way, he comforted them, speaking kindly to them. Joseph continued living in Egypt, he and his father's household. Joseph lived 110 years. Joseph lived to see Ephraim's great-grandchildren and the children of Manasseh, son, Machir, and were born on Joseph's knees. Joseph said to his brothers, now this is after the, the good times and everything has been going on, this is years later. He says, I am dying, but God will surely remember you and bring you up out of this land to the land which he swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then Joseph took an oath from the sons of Israel. Mm. Listen, to, listen to this. Then Joseph took an oath from the sons of Israel. God will surely remember you, and you are to carry my bones up from here. So Joseph died at the age of 110, and they embalmed him and put him in a coffin in Egypt. Now, when it says the sons of Israel, that to me, again, now this is, this is me. When, when they said the sons of Israel, that denotes that maybe they 
did give heed to what their father said in, as far as changing the things that they needed to change in their lives. Because remember, with Reuben, he was so proud of Reuben because Reuben was born when he was, when, when uh, Jacob had it going on. But he told him, he said, but boy, you are, you as, un, uh, are as unstable as water. And he's like, you, you, you're not going to be running things. But he also in the discussion, he listed some things that could be done to maybe avert that. And he can do the same thing. You know, in your family situation, whatever it is, and, and some things I know can be so tough that it's like, and, and, I, and I know this too, listen. It's not going to get fixed with three scriptures. You know, it, that's, that's not going to happen. But, but, but if you, if you will go to them as best you can in honesty, in sincerity, and in truth, and just has to have a conversation and, and maybe this thing may not get resolved that day. All, all I'm asking is that would you be willing? I'm not asking for an answer. Just, just think about that. Would you be willing to be the one to go how you do brother? And you reach out. I mean, you might have been the one that, like I said, this thing negatively affected. And, and, and I'm going I'm to close. I got six minutes. I'm going to read a few more things. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because your family's worth it. I'm going to say this again. Your family is worth it. Your community is worth it. Your church family is worth it. Believe in the value of honesty, even when it's uncomfortable. This trait will set you apart because the masses don't appreciate views that challenge their world view. See, society, society wants to cancel people. Society wants to bring about legislation that, and it's never going to do it, where equal outcome, folks, that's, that's not going to Equal outcome is almost like communism or socialism. Now, I'm not against socialism because I'm waiting on my social security check. I haven't filled out the paperwork yet, but you know, I'll get to it eventually. And, and again, I'm not trying to get political, but I'm, 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 I'm telling you, Folks, open your eyes, close your wallets, and just, 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 just keep yourself in position that you can be of assistance. But again, like I said, I'm not saying go rushing in and think, Writing a check or going in your pocket is going, no, 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 no. And, and, and when you're approached, listen intently. Listen intently. Because, you know, your heart's desire is to want to help. But uh, the, 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 the tighter things get, a, a, a lot of people, 
They're going to be looking for an easy mark. And the first place most of them are going to look is for, they're looking for church goers. They're looking for believers. And see, in following the instructions, that'll help temper that emotional desire. Well, let me, let me just jump in and make this go away. Because remember this, and I, I am going to close. I've got three minutes. Remember now, sometimes because you love them, you might have to say no. God bless you.